Richard Scarry's best ABC video ever is rather sweet for some reason, despite the fact I grew up watching an insane amount of television, I'd never seen anything with Richard Scarry. But I certainly recognised the characters, I recognised the, well, the illustration style or the animation style, so I was keen to check this out. I also just love watching educational programmes as I love to see how educational they are, and this is something I would have loved as a child. It is really fabulous. It was released in 1989. It's directed by Tony Eastman and the setup is really great. The teacher, who I believe was called Miss Honey, can't hear that without thinking of Matilda, asks each of the children in turn to name something that begins with each letter of the alphabet and quite cleverly each child's name also begins with that letter of the alphabet, which I just thought was a, a nice little additional thing to include. So with each child, they give something beginning with that letter. For example, the first child, whose name I don't remember, said A was for aeroplane. And we have this animation of an aeroplane on screen. And as we go through the different letters, we have different things being animated. And it's very cleverly written. There are lots of examples of alliteration, which is just fabulous to hear. I think alliteration, well, there's a reason why alliteration often features in children's poetry, because it's really fun to listen to and really engaging. And this is certainly no exception here. The animation is really stunning. I really, really like the design of the characters in particular and their faces. It's quite soft and very pleasant to look at. So visually, it was brilliant. It's also, of course, very, very educational in a way that's really fun and really engaging. And we do get the ABC song. And it's sung a couple of times. And on one of the occasions, it's actually quite slow. And there's nothing more frustrating than when it gets to LMNOP and they're just saying it L M N O P with no rhythm. It was very, very slow. But that was just on one of the occasions. And there's also an opportunity for some viewer interaction. By way of example, one of the children says that their letter M is next. And I think it was M. Either way, it was incorrect. And the teacher asked the viewer, looking directly at the camera, as it were, what letter comes next, giving the viewer a chance to say, I think it was maybe like a three second pause, giving the viewer a chance to say what letter comes next. It's not interactive like that all of the way through but there are occasionally opportunities for the child to show that they are actually engaged and listening to it which I think is pretty great if a child's watching it on their own fabulous but I can see that being really beneficial if you're a teacher in a classroom showing it to a classroom of children to see which children are willing and able to vocalize their answers and interact so I think that was something that was really really great to include. I hadn't expected it either. Needless to say, it ticks all of the right boxes. The animation is beautiful. It's very pleasant to listen to with a lot of alliteration. And even when it's not alliteration, it's just very crisp and clear. And the teacher's voice is really pleasant. I don't know who voices the teacher. IMDB does have quite an extensive cast list but it doesn't marry any of the cast stuff to any of the characters. So I apologise for not being able to be more specific there. But it is really pleasant to listen to. Gorgeous animation, so many different words. And obviously on screen as well, each child holds up the letter so you get the visual representation of what the letter looks like, which is really great as well. And something else I want to praise it for is that it does use ABC rather than ABC. I know some children's programs favour ABCDEF rather than ABCDEF. But personally, and I don't know exactly why I feel this way, but personally I think it's better to just go in with ABC. I think mainly because the song, if you teach the children ABC and then you try and get them to sing ABC, that's going to be a little bit confusing. I know Abaca is beneficial for sounding out letters and helping them to understand how a certain letter can help form a certain word. But personally, I prefer when children's shows focus on ABC, and this does this as well. So I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I love watching educational programs because, well, as I said, I grew up watching 
a lot of television, which means that I probably got a lot of education from TV and books. I read a lot of books as well. But for me, seeing these kinds of shows and knowing that these are the kinds of things I was raised on, it puts a little smile on my face. Definitely very entertaining, beautifully animated, really great narrative structure, great cast of characters. I don't know if it's the best ABC video ever, but certainly I really enjoyed it. Richard Scarry's best ABC video ever is an absolute delight.